So Derek, big day today. You made your announcement picking Cal. How does it feel to get that uh, decision off the table finally? It feels great. It feels great. You know, I'm publicly committed and I can just work on uh, building up this class and, you know, doing my part in recruiting and try to make this best class Cal's ever had. There's been a lot of buildup over the last few months. You had a lot of big offers with Stanford, UCLA, USC, Washington, Oregon, then back east with Michigan, Boston College, a whole bunch of schools. What what helped you decide to narrow things down and made Cal the best choice for you? Um, so uh, originally I'd planned to visit a lot of the schools. Um, a lot of it got shut down because of uh, COVID, but Cal had been a school that I already been to three times before everything got shut down. And it was a relationship that I just continued to be building. And throughout uh, Corona, I've still been able to build it, uh, you know, whether it's talking on the phone with Browning or, you know, playing Call of Duty with Browning and Achilles or just talking to the commit. Uh, I've just been able to really strengthen the bond. And I think that was a big part in what helped me make the decision. You hear a lot about uh, you interacting with, with Achille and with Maven Anderson, who you've known for a while, and uh, Jermaine Terry and some of the guys. Do, do you feel like you've started to develop that bond ahead of time? Mm -hmm, definitely. Uh, I met Achille and Jermaine at the junior day. I mean, I've known Maven for a long time now, mm -hmm. and he have been pushing for a while. Um, but, yeah, I met them at the junior day, and uh, they made a group chat not too uh, long after. And for a while, I was the only uncommitted guy in there. And then um, I was able to add my name to the committed <laughs> list. So, uh, but I've been in that group chat for a long time and they've just added the commit. So I've been able to build up that relationship since February. And that's definitely been a big part in, you know, helping me know that's the place for me. So what, uh, from what I've understood, they've, um, they've always told you how great you'd fit in, how much they want you there, but didn't put any pressure on you to do something you weren't comfortable with. Is that, is that kind mm -hmm. of an accurate yes, sir. characterization? Yes, sir, definitely. Uh, there's no, never really any timeline. It was just, you know, you're our guy. We want you here. Um, there's no pressure. Uh, you're going to make the decision that fits you best, but we think that that's for you here, and that's just kind of what they uh, pitched at me. So what's your relationship like with Coach Browning? Uh, it's great. Uh, I've known him since they offered me back in uh, November. He's been in my school multiple times. Uh, I mean, I've been to Cal multiple times, and we talk, you know, two, three times a week. And and that, and then on top of that, we'll go play some Call of Duty sometimes. It'll usually be me, him, Benji, and Achille, and Patrick will hop on sometimes. So who wins? Um, I, we play together. So, <laughs> okay, you yeah, rotate we around. Get the dubs together. All right. But, um, yeah, it's been building that relationship not only as a coach but also as a person. I feel really comfortable talking to Coach Browning. I feel like, you know, he cares about me, and it's it's honestly family. Yeah. And have you had much interaction with Coach Wilcox, and what are your thoughts on the program he's building? Oh, I've talked to Coach Wil Wilcox multiple times. I'll talk to him on the phone maybe once a week as well. And uh, he's building a great program. I mean, Cal's been up and wins uh, every year the last three years. Love what he did with the defense at, at Wisconsin, and you can just see the type of program he's building. Not only, uh, you know, talented guys, but high character guys, high academic guys, guys who want to do it and want to be like brothers. And that's a big thing for me. And that's kind of what sold it to me. So academics are something that's obviously important to you. Last I saw you had a 4.0 GPA and Cal's a high academic school. How does that play into the equation uh, for you? It definitely, it's definitely a big part of it. Like you said, um, I'm, I love my academics. I, I want to go to a school where I can get a degree that I know is going to mean something if college football or if football ends which it you know it eventually will i want to be able to take that next step in my life and you know hopefully uh you know get a job maybe start my own business depending on where things go but you know coming out of berkeley you're gonna have a great degree that actually holds significant weight and that's big for me well appreciate you taking the time to talk congrats again on your decision and can you give cal fans a big go bears thank you go bears all right well mom uh terry Tino, we're just done talking with uh with derek about his commitment to cal and he's got cal fans real excited about the decision and obviously being part of the family and seeing this journey for your son you must be real excited to have this this starting point really reached at this point can you talk a little bit about your thoughts going through the process with him yeah i'm very excited it's been an amazing journey it's been a long year i think since yeah. his first <laughs> since his first offer it's been an amazing journey we've learned so much about college recruiting and football in general and it's been a really fun experience and we've had a great time learning and growing along with this process. 
when did you first start to get an inkling that your, your son not only would be able to play at the next level, but would have some really good opportunities? I would think probably his freshman year, uh, maybe eighth grade, but probably freshman year. I think that um, when he first started, it was a tough transition. When he first started to tackle football at nine, it was a tough transition. But he kept kind of getting better and better as he got older. And then by his freshman year, we knew that he definitely had a possibility at going to the next level. Yeah. Derek, what kind of uh, advice did mom give you through the process? Uh, you know, just keep working. Uh, you know, nothing's really going to be given to you. But if you go out there and get it, you're going to put yourself in the best chance to, you know, get that scholarship and you know you're not necessarily doing it for me you're doing it for you and just kind of you know that's that, that was kind of the main vibe and of course don't get a big head during the yeah process yeah oh yeah humble yeah humility is always humility and <laughs> education is big don't don't drop the education just to be good at football so. absolutely and uh mom can you talk a little bit about your experience with the cal staff do you have a pretty high comfort level with the decision I do. I'm very happy. I know that um, they, he's very happy with the Cal staff. He was very happy and comfortable, and he felt at home, and he felt like part of the family with the Cal staff from the beginning. And so I am very comfortable with them, and I think they're great, and I really trust them and feel that they're very honest and real people. Well, we got a, a Go Bears earlier from, from Derek. Can we get one from you, too? Go Bears! <laughs>